Well, from junk food to uh, fancy food, we know casual dining chains are hurting with Bennigan's and Steak and Ale filing Chapter 7, not even Chapter 11. Fine dining establishments, though, are also wondering how much of their higher food costs can be passed on to customers, even wealthy ones. Jane Wells joins us outside one such restaurant in Brentwood, California. Where are you, Jane? It looks very <laughs> fancy there. It, it's quite fancy. This is Osteria Latini, and uh, this is an excellent restaurant, an excellent neighborhood. You know, the rich are usually the the last to stop spending if they stop at all. But there is growing evidence that not even at this level, rising food and fuel prices can't be completely passed on. Chef Paolo Pazio isn't just chopping vegetables, he's trying to chop costs. He owns this restaurant, and it turns out even at the more expensive restaurants in town, it's easier to get a table these days. Pazio says April and May were a little tight as costs have gone up for just about everything. Scallops, for example, live scallops uh, went skyrocketing. Potatoes, double the price. Uh, yellow tomatoes, uh, double the price. Uh, Microgreen, uh, price double. At the end, if it keeps going this way, it's gonna, it's gonna be short for us too. At the end, it's gonna be short for us too. Now, Pazio had to uh, raise prices last November about 10%, and he's afraid he may have to raise them another 5% this November. He's hoping he can hold off. But uh, for the publicly large uh, traded high-end restaurants, uh, their profits are down 50% in a year. Share prices for McCormick & Schmick's, uh, Morton's, Ruth Chris, all down. The McCormick stock doing better than the, than the broader market. Uh, Chris O'Call credits uh, McCormick's cost-cutting, but says even these firms are starting to see people use the restaurants less for special occasions. You're seeing many of them start to offer uh, two dinners for $89 or $99, uh, so kind of like a surf and turf promotion to try to attract those special occasion users. All right, but not everything's bad. Paulo Pazio says lobster, Aaron, which was about $13 a pound in March. Today it's around $10.95, and I like lobster. I got some here. Mm. That looks rather delectable, Jane. It's linguine lobster a la boozera. <laughs> Oh man, I need some Look red Look at wine. the size of that plate. It is broader than your shoulders. Sometimes a picture is I'm worth Michael a thousand Phelps. words. I need 10,000 calories a day like him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Short interest figures are out for the first time since that call out of the SEC.